we have a new solar storm warning, direct hit from uh, to Earth from fast impact predicted by NASA. And where will it hit? Now, according to Space Weather, Helioseismic Sunspot Alert, researchers who use helioseismology to monitor the far side of the sun detected echoes from a potentially significant sunspot group. The active region, whatever it is, will rotate into view early next week. Geomagnetic Stormwatch, G1 class, a CME is headed for Earth. Minor G1 class storms possible when the storm cloud arrives March 28th, which is in two days. Coronagraphs on board the Solar Heliospheric Observatory SOHO made the movie as the CME left the sun on March 25th. And here we are. Okay, the CME is faint, but it's moving fast at 959 kilometers per second, squarely inside the Earth strike zone. It could deliver a sharp blow to our planet's magnetic field, despite its low luminosity in the Coronagraph movie. And according to Space Weather, NASA says the model a CME will miss Venus March 27 before hitting our Earth around zero hours UT on March 28th. For observers in North America, this means the geomagnetic storm could begin after local midnight on Sunday, March 27. Photographic auroras could descend into the northern tier United States from Maine to Washington. So it's a good time of the year for aurora water watchers during the, that is northern lights. During the weeks around equinoxes, cracks form in Earth's magnetic field, allowing solar wind to enter and even a weak CME impact can spark a good display at high latitudes. Now, uh, where will it, this be seen? According to the uh, prediction of the direct Earth hit from the fast impact, the solar storm expected by astronomers to hit our planet this weekend, scientists predicting possible areas, areas where people may be able to see the effects. The storm expected to hit Monday, March 28th, the solar storm, the distance, the disturbance in particles thrown out by electromagnetic eruptions on the sun. NASA predicts that the solar storm will arrive around midnight GMT Monday, but U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, believes it will hit 18 hours beforehand around 6 a.m. When solar wind hits the Earth's magnetic field, the interaction of which causes the atmosphere to fluoresce, it's known as the Aurora Polaris, or the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis in the Northern Hemisphere. Dr. Tamitha Skov, known as the Space Weather Woman for her online celestial forecasts, predicts reception and high-frequency radio issues on whichever side of the Earth is in the daytime when the solar storm hits. She said that the NOAA predictions indicate a faster, slower storm than will hit harder, that will hit harder, and she says that the effects could reach the mid-latitudes of the planet's surface. Asked where sky watchers may be able to see the aurora caused by this storm, she suggests that people in rural New York may be able to spot them, but someone as far south as Utah might not. New York sits below UK, so there's a chance, chance eagle-eyed Britons will be able to see, to spot these lights, northern lights, in the Southern Hemisphere, Dr. Scoff said there is uh, Southern New Zealand and Tasmania may be able to see the aurora as long as it's dark enough and the storm hits during the evening there. But those living in Australian cities such as Victoria and Perth may not be able to see them. It's because the solar practices, particles hitting the Earth during the storm are deflected towards the poles by the Earth's magnetic sphere, spheres. Now, Billy Tees, Astronomer at uh, Vanderbilt University, Tennessee, explains that the deposits of energy this creates cause the atmosphere to fluoresce around the poles, and though making for a beautiful spectacle for some, solar storms can have damaging effects on the planet's logistical and navigational systems. NOAA warns, while the storms create beautiful auroras, they can also disrupt navigation systems such as global navigation satellite systems, GNSS, and create harmful geomagnetic-induced currents 
in the power grid and pipelines. Large solar storms in the form of coronal mass ejection, CMEs, can have devastating effects on the Earth and human infrastructure. The Carrington event of 1859 is the most intense geomagnetic storm recorded to date, and that, that saw auroras as far south as the Caribbean. But telegraph lines failed across America. Researchers believe that had the Carrington event occurred today, it would have caused widespread electrical disruptions, blackouts, and damage because of the power grid failing. Similar storms have been recorded in the year since, since and in February, a small geomagnetic storm knocked out 40 SpaceX Elon Musk Starlink satellites. And this is also from Alex Phillips on Express UK and Space Weather. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.